for the teaching lab purpose, we have to touch on everything that biomedical engineering does. And that may be microbiology, it could be materials testing, electronics and instrumentation, and we try to fit it all into this one room. And so we have this you know, fantastic space and we've divided it into sections. So we have a wet lab section that's actually classified as a biosafety level one lab. Uh, where the students do microbiology. And at the same time, we have an instrumentation area over here where the students are working on the LabVIEW uh, platform with the National Instruments uh, Elvis II systems. So an electrocardiogram uh, records the electrical activity from the heart. Since we're focused more on the instrumentation, we're just kind of doing experiments to, uh, you know, just monitor what changes we have in the signal we record. Um, so I started here um, in 1996 in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biomedical Engineering at that time was a graduate degree granting program and we didn't have an official department at that time. A few years later a few of us got together and decided to put together a department. I started um, hiring many, many faculty and I think it's just it's grown tremendously and we're one of the fastest growing biomedical engineering departments in the nation. I think um, undergraduates in our BME department have a lot of opportunities. Um, we have a lot of faculty who are studying very interesting things in their um, individual research labs and they always um, want undergraduates to come help them. My favorite projects, both because it was mechanically interesting to me and that it was beneficial to it and to the person who brought it in was sponsored by an individual. One of their family members had a prosthetic limb that didn't function as well as they wished it would. It was not a, did not allow for a natural gait as the person was uh, using this prosthetic leg and our senior design team was able to develop and test using some of the software that we have a flexible ankle joint to be placed into that prosthetic limb that would allow the foot to flex up and down in a more natural manner and, and improve that person's life by improving their ability to walk m more normally and, and with a, a less noticeable uh, gait. And then I think the fact that we have such a great you know, the University of Texas at Austin is a top engineering school overall, um, and that attracts people. And to have biomedical engineering as an option at UT Austin, I think, is just, um, you know, um, a wonderful attribute. And so I think students are flocking here as a result of that, and we have terrific faculty, and we have a great reputation for teaching.